Hey what is going on guys, Dark Dragon with Trophies Achieved here and today I'm bringing you the Trophy slash Achievement Fly Swatter which you can obtain on the Modern Warfare 3 Spec Ops mission Vertigo in which you have to destroy all helicopters on the map. Now this is a fairly difficult trophy actually and it may take a few attempts and um, I advise doing this on single player because it's a lot easier I think because the co-op you have this weird thing where one player has the rocket launcher and one person has to guide so it's a lot quicker on single player and of course regular difficulty is always easier to get um, trophies on when difficulty doesn't apply and right at the start of the level four helicopters will come off the map and also in single player all helicopters have a red box around them as well and on co-op they don't have that so it just makes it a lot easier to see all the incoming helicopters and for this combat bit after you destroy the four helicopters you a load of enemies will start coming and I fast forwarded these bits just because they're not that important I mean there's no helicopters but after you kill the first wave of enemies another helicopter will come and I say don't waste the guided missiles on this use the normal RPG these bigger helicopters fly away f around for, well it just hovers for ages so you have plenty of opportunity to kill it it takes three RPGs with the normal missile to do this and the thing about this is a lot of people don't know well a lot of people have missed the actual ammo crate once you jump from the roof with the parachute there is actually an ammo crate so don't be well don't want to say don't be afraid but you know there is infinity missiles once you're on the ground so obviously keep a few because the hardest bit of this mission I think is when you jump from the parachute because quite a lot of helicopters come and attack dogs come as well and that sort of when attack dogs run at you they sort of knock you on the floor and that can really be annoying when you're trying to attack a missile not attack a missile guide a missile onto the enemy helicopter but this is a fairly easy one well it starts getting difficult once you're on the ground one like i said as soon as you hit the ground it starts getting difficult and there's not many helicopters on there the juggernaut helicopter also that i just took down is a fairly you've got to take it out fairly quick because once it starts flying away it's literally gone within two or three seconds so take that out as fast as as you can and this is the last helicopter on the roof once you take this one out it will drop the parachute and i've not fast forwarded anymore after this because this is when it starts getting fairly difficult to, fairly difficult and yeah this is pretty much it i'll show you, well you'll you'll see when i land the where the ammo crate is but I say when you're parachuting you do get the opportunity to use your gun while you're parachuting as you will see here so you can take out one of the helicopters instantly um, it's really well it's not important but these go really fast I think there's 16 helicopters in total I'm not too sure don't quote me on that one but there's quite a few and most of them are on this bridge part dropping off enemies and it's easy to take them out here you will see the attack dogs in a minute how annoying they can be because they completely knock you off laser guided missile off guards but just if you can quickly f um, knife them also with the enemies on the footprint they're not too much of a problem you can use the guided missiles even on them if you want to see this one nearly got away nearly got a one that got away um, but yeah just use flashbangs for the enemies are shooting you because you have infinity flashbangs of course because the ammo crate is just there so you can easily refill on all your all your ammo needs and that's basically yeah, that's the hard part as soon as you jump off the roof I mean take out all the enemies before you advance down the bridge because it's sort of like sections once you go past a certain bit the next wave comes so make sure you clear the whole area out before you make your way down the bridge even further and that's pretty much it um, there are a few more helicopters that come after well I'll just take out these enemies to make it easier there's a few more helicopters that come and they come directly at you so they're pretty easy to take out they sort of do a flyby like the first ones did at the very start of the mission and fire missiles but they're easy to take down but if they miss that can be a problem because of course they're, as you'll see here oh no not just yet it's a few more drop offs first I'm getting ahead of myself here but yeah these ones are f when they come out come at you at an angle they're really easy to take down but the ones that come at you directly on if you miss it could be a problem but they're still fairly easy and that's pretty much it like I said it's pretty it's a pretty long guide this one but I didn't want to sort of do it in sections I wanted to show the whole mission just in case you know people wanted to see it and here come the head on ones just good to miss I think there's only one there's one or two I can't remember is that the last one no there'll be one more in a minute but I'm going to end the video here guys and I'll let the rest of it play through it's pretty much over anyway there's what 10 20 seconds left but I hope this guide helps and I thank you for watching adios